getting roasted today with truth. Whose feelings are going to get hurt and all sensitive today? About to shake up all the feathers today. What's this blazer? This is the, the Make America Great Again Trump 2024 blazer signed by the man himself. Hey, so nice to meet you. Good to meet you too. Come, come in my office. Did you like pro wrestling? I love pro wrestling, man. I had a lot of inspirations, you know, from Ric Flair to Hulkamania to Kurt Angle, you know, who I use his walkout music for my fights. That's cool. I, have you ever seen this video? No way. Hey, call me. No way. Call me coming to this, and it's your boy. <laughs> Rolex wearing diamonds, yeah. riding private jet flying, telling you. Good luck Saturday night. You're the man. Wow. You are the <laughs> man. Wow. <laughs> oh, that doesn't feel real. That feels like it's we're cool, in right? a, That's so cool. I appreciate you doing that. That's For sure. Rick's very man, humbling. Man. Guys, the pictures are on, right? We got to get pictures of this gray suit that Donald Trump gave to me. Kobe, what would you want your title rank to look like? The one thing is for sure, I'm going to make welterweight division great again. You know, I'm in my prime physically and mentally. You know, Colby's a yes man. He loves his company. He'll say yes to any fight. I just want to make the biggest and best fights for the fans and, and for the company. And that's exactly what I'll do when I'm champion. Perfect. All done over here. I'll take it. We're going to go over to the uh, green screen now. Stay with the look. Hi, my name is Nina, and I'm here with... Alexander Pantoja. Okay, uh, what's... I don't ask any fight questions. They're just really no, stupid, uh, stupid questions. Okay. okay. Uh, would you rather step on nails or touch a stove? Get the f sorry, sorry. <laughs> would you yeah. rather like, like step on nails, like step on nails, okay. or like put your hand on a hot stove? <laughs> you I, I prefer I prefer nails. Yeah. You see this thing? Yeah. <laughs> I'm the dumbest one on this show. <laughs> I do this and I can't hit the ball. The ball will fuck me in the face. I feel like this is ice Because even champs, they suck at it. Yeah. That was good. I'm appreciate it. Good, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. You're going to carry the boats. <laughs> What are you gonna say about that dude? The goat. I watched him many times, you know, and I think his, his resi his resilience and what it, it took him to get to where he is is commendable, you know. Could smile a bit more, though. <laughs> Very quiet. <laughs> Your work in the clinch, is that where you feel that you can be uh, a little bit dominant to kind of force Kobe into a striking match? I'm going in for a mixed martial arts match. I'm not trying to keep it on the feet or on the ground or wherever. I'm willing to go where the fight goes, you know. I've been That's choked out in the UFC, I've been hurt in the UFC, so, so once, it, once you feel my size and my strength and my power, I think it, you don't feel the difference, you know. Now that this Josh Emmett fight is here and it's happening, I guess, without a regular training camp setting, I mean, is there anything that is suboptimal about the short notice nature of this fight or no? No, it's it's a lot better. Yeah. I like it. Man, I've done a lot of preparation. Shoot, I, I can show up and go with anybody. I'm confident in that. I was not training heavily, but I'm just telling you, I can still kick ass. I'm, I'm very confident in that ability. You get the fight, now you got Josh Emmett. What do you make of Josh Emmett today, you know, as he ages? Shoot, I, I would hate to sit here at D.C. and tell you that, oh, he's, he's older and then go get knocked the out. You know, it's like, <laughs> he's, he, dude, he hits the hardest. And there's no doubt about that. Yes, he's a little bit older, but his strategy relies on hitting hard, and you know he hits hard. He, he hits the hardest. I want to fight the best. Give me the baddest you got, because that's my mentality. Good luck this weekend, buddy. Thank you so much, brother. You are good to go, champ. Okay, thank thank y'all so, so much. much. Appreciate y'all. All the best. We'll see you good tomorrow. Luck, Bryce. All right, take care, y'all. See ya. It's a very tough decision tonight. It's the press conference. You know I got to be styling the profile and having the best suits. Should we wear this one? Good go. It's very nice. Beautiful.
Should we go red for all my red-blooded Americans? My patriots? Oh yeah, that's the one. Take our freedom back. Take our belt back to American soil. And send the Brits back to the home empty-handed. So Covington here, at your service. Shout out to Luigi Girardi, man. Made this, this fit, I mean, this is the most incredible fit I've ever worn in my life. It's not even, there's not even a close second out there, so. Enjoy the show, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the UFC 296 press conference in Las Vegas. We have a stacked card for our final event of 2023 on Saturday night from T-Mobile Arena, only available on pay-per-view. Let's go, baby! Let's go! What's going on, Las Vegas, Nevada? Nothing quite like that Vegas energy. All right, ready to go. Thank you all for being here for the presser. Who has the first question? This is a question for Leon Edwards. Your reaction to Colby's choice of outfit today? The guy coming here just like a drag queen, you know? I don't know what he's trying to go for. Of course you don't know what I'm going for. You didn't even graduate elementary school. What the you about? You're a idiot. Literally, what's your level of education? I'd love to know. Did you graduate elementary school? No, you didn't. All right, I'm a people's champ. I got a question for the people. Did you come out here to support these red coat <laughs> Or did you come to be a part of the American Revolution? Yeah. All this week you've been talking about how people discuss Colby's character, his persona, but not really his skills. Do you think he's overrated by fans? Um, yeah, for sure. Obviously, you can overlook what he does in the octagon. Who have you beat? Seriously, Woodley. Who have you beat? Woodley. Watch. Yeah, you know why I beat Woodley? Because you pulled out because he had the no, sniffles. Watch. You had the stipples. You were scared to fight. You had the stipples. You had the stipples, bro. You had the stipples. It's just disgusting. This question for Wonder Boy. Wonder Boy, outside the main event, do you think Shavkat's the hardest fight you could be taking right now? I think so, man. I mean, this guy's undefeated. Like I've said in the past, he's got a 100% finish rate. So, I mean, to show the UFC and the fans that I, I can go for the title again, man. So, I got to go out there and beat this guy, and, and uh, we'll go from there. But he is definitely a tough opponent. Next question for the uh, boat flyweights. Uh, what can they expect to see when both you guys go in there? Always when I fight, and uh, I look at Brandon Rival fight a lot, always a big show, you know. And I'm going to make sure, me and Brandon are going to make the fight of the night. Uh, you can bet that. I didn't expect anything but a brutal fight this whole entire uh, five rounds, and uh, I know he's expecting to bring that same All right, another one for Patty Pimblett. Is this just another fight for you, or are you pretty scared of Tony with David, or is this just another fight? <laughs> It was no, just cardio, baby. It, it was, was just, just cardio. Fight. No oh, real training. Know what I mean. No MMA just training. Another fight. I don't even care about you, dude. I don't even. I know swear. you don't. I don't care about you. You're just another obstacle in the way, lad. You, you care about me blocking you on Instagram? Saturday, lad. That's what you care about. You care about the low stupidest. No, I I'm don't. I'm more worried about everybody else. Lad, you just think care because you blocked me. I'm not that much of a little to block someone on Instagram. You know what? I'm not that I'm sensitive. Me. I don't even have to look at you. Little sensitive boy. Don't call. Boy, I made you my little boy making your block. Go make me a cup of tea. Question for Liam, straight down here. What does a win over Kobe do for your legacy? Nothing really, just add to my legacy, right? Just another guy in the way to chasing GSV record. This is a guy coming off one, one loss, one win, then fine for the bout, you know, so. I know you don't know how to do it math, but when you poke that guy in the eyes and it was a no contest, that interrupts your win streak, you dumb Stay here. We're going to stare down these athletes. Thank you all for coming out. All right, I appreciate you guys both. Good luck tomorrow.